All right. Well, projectile motion is genuinely very, very useful. One of the more ide useful ideas in, in physics at this level. It's the starting point for motion from everything from rockets to soccer balls to just trying to toss a ball of paper into a trash can. It's all projectile motion where the uh, only or dominant force is gravity. So I wanted to talk about uh, projectile motion for angry birds. So angry birds is a very popular game an internet phenomena uh, sometime in between uh, it is after all your base are belong to us and before flappy birds okay. put it in some sort of timeline uh, for the internet uh, before your cognizance so a uh, person from wired magazine uh, had some time on their hand and decided to test if angry birds use projectile motion correctly. Um, so played the game, uh, captured pixel locations for uh, birds being launched from the slingshot, so like red here. And uh, once the bird is off contact with the slingshot, is that subsequent motion uh, in accordance with what we understand uh, for projectile motion, uh, which, you know, as we saw previously, the trajectory is going to follow in uh, an y-x plane is going to be a parabola, uh, but does it behave correctly? And so went through, did uh, motion capture uh, to get the information, uh, and then made plots, because that's what every good person does, is make plots, so you can understand what's happening. And there you go. Sure enough, uh, the X coordinate, so missed a bit uh, due to problems with the motion capture, uh, but the X coordinate is sure to God that's a nice linear line. And then the vertical coordinate, again, except for the missing data, that sure looks like a parabola. Uh, and then something you can do with this uh, that's fun um, is uh figure out what the scale within the game angry birds is so if this, these are actually our birds on earth uh then the acceleration takes a particular value and you can uh rescale from the game coordinates into what real coordinates would have to be uh for g to be correct uh assuming time is time and the upshot of that is uh those are some big birds uh, the scale of the slingshot is the slingshot is almost five meters tall. So that means that the individual birds, even like a smaller one like red, is about a meter tall. It's about half your height. So these are some big birds. <laughs> um, so just a little fun with uh, projectile motion, our understanding of projectile motion, and seeing that in everyday life, including video games.